earlier this season, we brought you an investigation that put us all on high alert. We found a dangerous toxin in dozens of popular sunscreens. But our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, shows us how those initial findings are just the tip of the iceberg. There's new revelations that benzene could be lurking in other personal care products like antiperspirants, body sprays, and even dry shampoos. This after our initial discovery about the same carcinogen in sunscreens. Take a look at those findings. I'm here at Valisher Labs in New Haven, Connecticut, where scientists have made striking findings about a number of sunscreens you see behind me. In fact, a lot of them contained a dangerous industrial chemical known to cause cancer. Its name, benzene. Benzene is a contaminant and it's a known human carcinogen that's not supposed to be in any consumer product. The toxicity of benzene has been studied for over 120 years and found very strong correlations or higher risks of leukemia. It's been banned in industry decades ago. So you didn't just find benzene in a single product. I mean, you found it in hundreds. We analyzed almost 300 batches and found that over a quarter of them contained some amount of benzene. It was shocking. And the FDA emergency limit is two parts per million. That's really just for hand sanitizers or very specialty products. We're finding over three times that in some of these sunscreens really should be zero. I went shopping. I picked up a variety of sunscreen products, including after sun products. And you're going to test them for benzene. Let's do it. OK. Leslie, we're dying to hear. What did you find? Five out of 12 products we tested contain benzene. And we're gonna continue this investigation. We're gonna get to the bottom of it. I just picked up a bunch of personal care products at the drugstore. They're aerosol based. I'm gonna send them to Valisher Laboratories to see just how toxic they are. Leslie joins us now with findings from her new toxic beauty investigation. Tell us about the personal care products you tested in this latest investigation. Following the alarming findings with the sunscreen, I wanted to move forward and test personal care products such as antiperspirants, body sprays, dry shampoo. Now, Valisher recently tested a bunch of antiperspirants and body sprays and found high levels of benzene in those products. And following that, PNG did their own recall where they pulled a bunch of products off store shelves, including dry shampoo. But nobody's ever tested dry shampoo for benzene. So I went to the store and I picked up a whole bunch of dry shampoo, antiperspirants and other personal care products. And what I found was alarming. I found extremely high levels of benzene in one of the dry shampoos. Let me give you some perspective. So it was five times greater than the FDA's emergency limits placed on hand sanitizers in the peak of the pandemic. Now, the FDA revoked that emergency use authorization. This stuff shouldn't be in products at all. Some of the benzene that I found in these dry shampoos 100 times more than I found in sunscreen. And as women, we use dry shampoo. I use dry shampoo every day. And think about it like this. You're spraying this stuff indoors, around your face, breathing in a carcinogen. And it's not the same as when you're outside putting sunscreen on your skin. So Leslie, I mean, number one, the, the, uh, the level is 100 times more benzene you describe, but so important to put in perspective is the fact that this is an aerosol form. That means you're spraying it. That means it's being disseminated, that it's in there in the air, not only for you to potentially breathe in and ingest, but, but people around you as well. And for people that don't know what benzene is, it's typically a byproduct of, of oils petroleum products, things like that. And then Dr. Ish, we learned early on in a basic pathology class in medical school that benzene is in fact one of the most potent yes. carcinogens. It's it's a hundred percent correct. It's one of the names that are flashed on our radar early in med school. And I want to reiterate the point. This is why this is so important for the folks at home. These are things we use every single day right? These are products we're putting in the air on our bodies every day. And we're not talking, Doc, about something that's going to cause a rash or some irritation, right? Or, or mild headache. We're talking about cancer-causing chemicals. That's why this is so important, Les. That's right.